More grace, everybody. More grace. My name is Esther Osifo. I'm here to testify of the goodness of God in my life. I've been having this severe abdominal pain for more than 10 years. It all started before I got married. I was engaged for a very long time. Then the marriage lingered for a very long time. When the man now came, 2006, we now rushed the marriage. After the marriage, I got home that night as I was in a dream. And I saw a woman. She was using her hand to rub me on the tummy. When I woke up immediately, I not tapped him. I said, look at the dream I have. And I said, ah, I mean they are trying to do it so that it will be difficult for us to have children. And I said, I beg. Though before the marriage, I was always praying, even midnight prayer. But after that marriage, I could not pray again. That was how that thing that came. So since that time, 2016 now, I've been experiencing that severe pain. When that pain will come, I cannot even do anything again. I've been taking an adjustic and it does not even work. So when that pain I started that very month, I now went for scan. They now said it was fibroid. The pain still continued and it was lingering there. Until last Wednesday service, when we now came for uh, faith clinic, as the prayer was going on, the man of God was on the altar. The geo was now making a declaration. So as it was, the decree was going on, it now got to a stage where it dec decree about severe abdominal pain, fibroids and everything. Myself, I just claimed my own because I came to it. So after the prayer, all of a sudden I just suddenly experienced as if something just pushed out of my body. Boom. So when I got home, I now saw that the on this I was wearing, it was stained with black blood. After that very day, I was now experiencing something like watery uh, fluid coming out of my body. And it was smelling and very offensive. That even me, myself, I could not even stand the smell that was coming out of it. And I began to wonder that, so, where is all this smell coming from? Where has this thing been? So, and I said, today, I must come out to come and testify for what God has done for me. And since that very particular Wednesday, that pain that I've been having, even in the night at times when I'm sleeping, I don't sleep well. Because it will not look as if something is in my stomach, moving up and down. At times it will not look as if the thing hooked me. But since that Wednesday till now, I no longer experience it. And that pain suddenly just went off, just like that. People of God, give a living clap prophet of Jesus Christ. I told you last Wednesday, when I was taking the prayer, that fibroid is going to burst out. Do you remember? Yes. Something is going to burst out of your body. Even after the whole prayer, I repeat it again. Yes! All these are afflictions from the pit of hell. And many people, they are suffering from this kind of affliction. Drugs cannot cure them. Injection won't cure them. A drip won't cure them. You go and do x-ray, it's different from the part they'll be telling you every time. Today they will tell you one, tomorrow another, next tomorrow another. Different, different. You will be confused and tired. But you hear what came out of our body? It was infused, imparted demonically into her body to make her barren. But at last Jesus intervened. Today, the battle is over. Look at the odor that followed it. There is nothing good from witches and wizards. Though. Look at the odor that followed it. She said it was so offensive. That means the odor was too much. Black substance that came out of her body. And since then, she had peace. She said, since that when is it now, how is your body now? I feel so free and my body is light. Do you sleep well now? Yes, sir. You see us feeling those problems in the night? No, sir. To God be glory. Mm. What God has done for you, it shall remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. So what advice have you to give us today, ma? The advice I have is that I want to tell everybody, as long as you are in this commission, always believe the God of this commission. Because my pastor always says that the God you know is the God you experience. So always have faith in God. No matter how hard it is, God will always do it. And he will do it. 
God bless you, sister, in Jesus' name.